。星期四抵港嘅前港督彭定康出席一个午餐会。佢支持嘅時候話：深信法治同自由，亦都相信香港人遲早可以選出管治者。但佢好意外，步伐咁慢。Sooner or later, those freedoms should include the freedom to choose who governs Hong Kong. I think 20 years after the departure of the colonial oppressor, it's a bit surprising that democratic development. hasn't happened rather more rapidly. It was supposed to take place at a steady rate. The steady rate seems to be pretty slow. Peng Dingkong 表示，港独唔会发生，将民主同港独混淆，会冲淡社会对民主嘅支持。So in my view, it would be dishonest, dishonourable, and reckless. Of somebody like me, to pretend that the case for democracy should be mixed up with an argument about the independence of Hong Kong, something which is not going to happen, something which dilutes support for democracy, and something which has led to all sorts of antics. Which should not take place in a mature society aiming to be a full democracy. I think two years ago, many brave young people in Hong Kong established moral high ground about democracy and governance, and I think it would be a tragedy if that high ground was lost. Peng Dingkong 又提到宣誓，认为宣誓系好严肃嘅事，唔应该同言论自由等混为一谈。Taking an oath is a serious business. I think it's mistaken to confuse the argument about the nature of Hong Kong's really special citizenship, the way in which people know in this community. The relationship between freedom of speech, freedom of the media, due process, independence of the judiciary—the way people know the relationship between those things and their own prosperity and well-being—I think it's a mistake to confuse that with some headline-grabbing remarks about independence. 佢又話：釋法應該剋制，建議年輕人回去爭取民主，再討論港獨係不治。香港電台記者崔慧欣報導。